Hey guys, how's it going here? So today I'm going to be showing you my deck list for the Gara Sand deck. Um, I noticed the game is actually getting really, very, very popular now. I've been in the game for about six, seven months, and I thought, you know, how about I show my deck list? So right now I'm running a Gara Sand deck. Tell me what you like about it, what could be done with it, what's good, what's bad, what should be added in, what should be taken out. So right now let's just get straight to the deck list. I run two Gar of the Desert Childhoods, two Conquerors, two Tamaris, one Hanari, one Rock Lee, one Crow. That's it for my turn zeros. Next are the turn ones. Three black ants, one crow, two Karns, one Rockley, one Tamari. Now moving on to the turn twos, two Gar of the Deserts, one Salamander. Now for the turn threes. Two Sandon Boos. One Sakura Haruno. Next for the turn fours. Two Chios. Turn five. Sasori. One Baki. And my turn sixes. Two fifth Kazukages. Next on are my Jutsus. One Sandwall. One Sand Shield, one Sand Burial, two Reanimation Jutsus, two Wind Scythe Jutsus, two Sand Tsunamis, and three Sand Shower Barrage. Next are my missions. Two a gift, one puppet show, two Sasori of the Red Sand, two Sakura's Decisions, one the ninth match, and one of the loss. Next on two are my reinforcements, one Sasori puppet mode. One Conqueror, Tamari, and Gar of the Desert. And one Rock Lee and Gar of the Desert. Next on two are the cards I want to show you that, you know, are very good of importance in this deck. For one, Gar of the Childhood. Gar of the Childhood is good because if you drop it in your first turn, you know, you draw a card. Sure, if he leaves a fill, you discard a card, but say if you have that one card in your hand that you need to get out your hand, he'll help you. Next. I would most definitely say the fifth Kazakake for sure. The fifth Kazakake, you know, he negates ninjas' effects that target your other opponent's ninjas. And also, say if during the exchange of jutsu, they try to go for a jutsu against you, you can negate that jutsu with just one cost. And then whatever that com that jutsu's cost was, you go from your discard pile and add into your chakra area. Another good card I would say in this deck has to be Conqueror. Conqueror's effect is. You can discard a manipulator or a puppet from your hand and grab another puppet from your deck. So there's that loop going on. You just keep bringing puppets over and over and over into your deck. The next card that I say is really useful is the Black Ant. I run three. Why? Because say if he's in a bomb, he's in a team with a puppet um, with a manipulator. All you have to do is pay two wind trackers and the opposing ninja gets turned into a standby ninja. So all their team is they're out they're out without a head ninja. And now they're only battling with, how do I say, support. Another good card that I run in this deck is my Sanchar Barrage. Sanchar Barrage is, all you have to do is select one of the following effects. You can either turn your opponent's power to 0-0, zero, zero, or you can injure the target. Now, if it's the 5th Kazakage, for instance, if, if you have him, you can discard one of their injured ninjas. Another good card in this deck would have to be... Sasori of Sasori Puppet Mode. 
So Sorry Puppet Mode does with all your puppets that are inside your discard pile, you get to summon all of them and they all get non-unique. So you can summon any number of your puppets from your discard pile, no matter the, if they're unique or not. Another really, really good card in this deck, I would say, that helps out any deck would have to be Hanari. Hanari is a real good card. You get to look at your opponent's hand. Also, if they have a mission there, you get to draw a card and charge a card. And a card that's a must in any deck would have to be Karin. Karin does, all it does is give your opponent one chakra from their discard pile, and then you get to heal one of your ninjas. You can do this any turn. You can do it in the mission or the exchange to do to your turn or your opponent's turn. Well, thank you for having a nice day. Tell me how my deck is. This is my first video. You know, leave your feedback down below. If there's any concerns, don't hesitate to comment. Thank you. Have a nice day.